So I want to show a super simple system I like to use to attack a strong stalling opponent when they're on both knees. First thing you want to understand is to break the posture of a strong opponent, we want to get a collar grip. And the further I back away from my opponent, the more posture I'm going to break. If he tries to stay in this exact position on both knees, no matter how strong he is, if I keep backing up, eventually it's going to break him forward to the floor. Often when you make this grip and start backing away, your opponent's going to try to break your grip. So as he goes to break the grip, this is always going to give me access to his sleeve. So he breaks. Now now I'll break back and I'm going to re-grab the collar. Once I get the collar, I'm going to put my foot of the same side sleeve I'm controlling on the hip and I put my other foot in the bicep. This makes it very difficult for him to get out because now I can keep the distance with the foot on the hip. I have the collar to break posture and this foot in the bicep makes it very difficult to break the grip. So from here I can pull and extend his arm to threaten the omoplata and triangle. Often what people will do here is they pull this elbow super tight to defend. When they pull really tight to defend, and they have to lower their posture to do this, and this makes going for the loop choke very easy. So I'm gonna dip my wrist forward like this and create a pocket for his neck to go under, right? So I, I dip here, and now my left arm is gonna let go of the sleeve and go over top and through under my forearm. I want my top leg that was in the bicep to go over top of the back. Once I go here and throw this over, now even when he rolls through, he can't continue to go forward because this leg here uh, keeps him stuck in the position. From here, I can pull through and finish with a tap. So sometimes when you're here, what'll happen is as you start threatening this loop choke, the guy will start posturing up more. But the more he postures up, the more he exposes this elbow knee space, making chasing the omoplata or triangle much easier. So from here, as I push on the hip, I'm gonna get my shin on the inside. Even if he's still kinda tight, so pull the elbow tight and come down just a little bit. Even if he's here, if he's not too low, I can dip that shin on the inside here. Now, once this shin is inside, no matter how strong he is and he pulls his elbow tight, my leg is still stuck on the inside. From here, I can kick my leg all the way through and I start to attack the omoplata or the triangle choke. So the next common response here will be your opponent comes up on a knee. So I have the, the position, I push on the hip, he's gonna step this knee up in the center to try to defend. Once this happens, I often push in his neck with my fist, I take the foot off the hip, and that off balances him and makes it easier to grab this foot and start putting my left foot in as a hook. From here, there's a lot of different ways we could attack. A really easy one is, once I get this foot in, is I can just switch to a single leg grip. I like to feed a lapel here with my left hand, like so. And now I can just drive and start coming up into a single leg. Once you get the guy come up, uh, to come up to one leg, it's much easier to find an attack. Um, if you like to do Baron Bolos and more advanced stuff, from here as well, I can easily start grabbing the hip, pulling and coming up into back take sequences as well. So the last option is I start to pull and he steps up with the other leg. Very similar to the other one, I'm now gonna put this foot in between because once this is in here, now he can't get this space back because my leg is stuck in between. So I grab the foot and from here, I could again push the hip out, go into a single leg. If you like to do De La Hiva deep lace, you could lace your leg, grab the lapel or the shoulder and dump him over to the side and come up from there. Hope you guys like the technique breakdown. I'm gonna include some narration of competition footage explaining these techniques being used in action. Uh, also, I'm in Norway for the next month training with Espen Matisson. So if you guys have any requests for techniques or videos to cover, be sure to comment and let me know. And as always, if you guys like the content, like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot. All right, so this first clip is from Nicholas Mergali versus Cyborg. So you can see here he starts with the foot on the hip and he has collar sleeve. Uh, this time he's actually leaning on the right side a little bit, but that's fine, you can alternate either side. You can see that uh, Cyborg got a really low posture, which makes chasing the omoplata triangle difficult. And so here he's gonna sit up in a second, right about here. And when you sit up, it makes it so much easier for that other arm to dart over the back of the head. He shoots through, immediately gets that leg over the back, and now as he rolls through, he can maintain the position. If you don't keep the leg over the back, sometimes they can roll all the way through and get out. He goes through here and he gets the tap. Next clip is from one of my students, Daniel Donahue, who I just promoted to black belt. So he's starting here in spider guard and he uses the thread of the wheel sweep to get the foot on the hip. Once he gets the foot on the hip, now he lets go of that uh, second sleeve and switches to a collar sleeve. He starts to threaten the omoplata triangle and his opponent pulls the elbow tight here and now you can see he's already starting to go up for the loop choke, gets that nice leg over back positioning, gets pinned and gets the finish there. 
Next clip is from Mergali again, actually versus Cyborg. In this case, Mergali actually does a really cool setup where he does a deep lasso and he puts the foot under the butt and this off balances him overhead and creates an overhead sweep. So when he comes back up, he's on both knees because he's trying to defend that attack again with that deep lasso. So now he comes, drives in, I think there's a cut in the video clip, and he shoots into the loop choke. Here he actually does a, a slight different variation where he locks in half guard instead of over the back. Uh, and he goes really deep with the arm here, right? He actually goes to his tricep behind the head, right? So the choke's in really tight here. Cyborg even gets all the way through the legs, but it doesn't matter because that choke is set so deep. Here he rotates all the way through, and I think he finally gets that leg over back positioning and gets the finish there, he tapped, all right? And then this last clip is actually Daniel again here in Spider Guard. And again, he's trying to work the double sleeve and now he switches up and this time his opponent leaves the elbow more open. So chasing the old plata and then switch to the triangle is how it goes to finish.